Sodium ion batteries arrived late to the game, but they've quickly become far more powerful. Tesla has made moves toward adopting its most advanced sodium ion battery technology, yet, the Tesla Sodium Ion Battery 4.0. Elon Musk has said before that Tesla has studied many potential battery chemistries, but only a few were truly suitable for Tesla's needs, and sodium ion is one of the rare exceptions. Early generations of sodium ion batteries had energy densities far too low for electric vehicles, reaching only about 100 watt-hours per kilogram compared to the minimum requirement of 150 watt-hours per kilogram. But Elon Musk and Tesla didn't give up. They improved the materials and successfully developed a sodium ion battery with an energy density almost equal to today's LFP cells, while cutting the charging time down to just three minutes. Oh my god, this is the first time a sodium ion pack has ever achieved this and it's something Elon can't really ignore. Right now, batteries are no longer the major bottleneck for Tesla, especially with the 4680 production lines ramping up at incredible speed. Of course, those packs are reserved for higher-end models like the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck. But with the upcoming $26,000 affordable Tesla launching next year, the company needs a stable, far cheaper battery than traditional LFP cells if it hopes to scale production. So, will the new sodium ion battery 4.0 be the one Tesla uses? What makes this battery special enough to replace lithium, and why is it on track to become the cheapest EV battery in the world? It's not solid-state batteries or any other high-energy density chemistry that automakers are turning to as a backup plan. It's sodium ion. With lithium prices rising, sodium ion batteries are becoming the preferred alternative, especially for lowering production costs in affordable cars. We've seen many battery technologies emerge alongside lithium over the past few years. Among them, Sodium ion has shown the most promise, improving its energy density by 40% in just two years, a pace faster than any other battery technology in the world. And most importantly, sodium has one advantage no other chemistry can match, abundance. It's everywhere in nature, making it extremely cheap to source. Sodium ion batteries are estimated to cost around $40 to $80 per kilowatt hour, compared to the roughly $120 per kilowatt hour of lithium ion packs. In terms of availability alone, Sodium is 500 to 1,000 times more abundant than lithium on Earth. On top of that, the extraction process is far less harmful to the environment and land compared to lithium mining. Although Elon Musk has stated that Tesla's new battery tech has eliminated lithium entirely, he also noted that the overall structure still closely resembles the lithium batteries Tesla used before. Simply put, the Tesla Sodium Ion Battery 4.0 still has a cathode, anode, separator, and liquid electrolyte. But instead of using lithium as the charge carrier, Tesla uses sodium. Additionally, both the cathode and anode can use aluminum, whereas lithium ion batteries require copper for the anode, a significantly more expensive metal. Not stopping there, Elon Musk stated that the production cost of the new battery is even many times lower than that of the current 4680 cells. Instead of using expensive and scarce materials like nickel, cobalt, lithium, and copper, Tesla's fourth generation sodium ion batteries use a sodium-based cathode, and rely on abundant, eco-friendly materials such as iron, aluminum, or manganese. In terms of test performance, Tesla's sodium ion battery reaches 190 watt-hours per kilogram, higher than Cattle's sodium ion battery at 175 watt-hours per kilogram. So far, almost no sodium ion battery has achieved such specs. Cattle has said they will soon reach an energy density of 200 watt-hours per kilogram in the next generation of their sodium ion batteries, but that still hasn't happened. Honestly, 190 watt-hours per kilogram is not a very high energy density. It's even significantly lower than Tesla's 4680 cells, but when compared to LFP batteries, which are widely used by many EV makers, it's clear that Tesla's sodium ion batteries are not inferior. In fact, they're slightly better, even without taking production cost into account. With a 62 kilowatt hour pack, Tesla's sodium ion battery allows for a 300 mile range. Achieving a 300-mile range with a sodium-ion battery has never been an easy task. No sodium-ion battery has managed to do that before. According to Elon Musk, recent advances in material technology have significantly improved the performance of sodium-ion batteries, overcoming their inherent weakness in energy density. In terms of charging speed, sodium-ion batteries are very promising because they've demonstrated the ability to charge and discharge more than 20 times faster than lithium-ion batteries. With just a three-minute charge, Tesla's sodium battery is said to deliver an additional 110 miles. Oh my God, this significantly compensates for the battery's not-so-impressive energy density. For any battery technology, 
the key factor that determines fast or slow charging is always the movement of ions between the electrodes during charging and discharging. In Tesla's fourth generation sodium battery, sodium ions travel between the cathode and anode through the electrolyte. One reason this battery can charge and discharge so quickly is the favorable ionic conductivity of sodium ions in the electrolyte. Sodium ions carry a single positive charge, similar to lithium, but their larger ionic radius allows them to move relatively easily through certain electrolytes, especially those optimized for sodium ion cells. In liquid electrolytes, Na plus can diffuse rapidly, enabling faster ion transport during both charging and discharging. This level of speed means it could potentially fully charge a Tesla Model Y in just nine minutes. My goodness, that's practically comparable to filling up a gas-powered car. With sodium ion batteries, you may get a vehicle with a shorter driving range, but you won't have to wait long before you can start your next trip. This balances out the experience compared to owning a long-range EV that requires nearly an hour to recharge. In Tesla's most recent efforts, the 4.0 sodium ion battery has been shown to retain 80% of its capacity after 7,000 to 8,000 cycles. And we've also learned that sodium's durability could allow the battery to reach up to 80,000 cycles. But that's not even the most interesting part. Tesla's sodium ion battery not only has a major cost advantage, but can also be considered one of the safest battery types for electric vehicles. Tesla conducted a series of extreme durability tests, from drilling directly into individual cells to cutting them in half, yet no signs of overheating appeared. This success largely comes from the sodium-based chemistry, which provides remarkable stability for this new battery type. According to Elon Musk, this battery line can operate across an extremely wide temperature range, from minus 40 degrees Celsius to over 70 degrees Celsius, essentially redefining thermal tolerance standards for batteries. At minus 40 degrees Celsius, Tesla sodium ion battery still retains up to 90% of its usable capacity. Even when the battery is nearly empty, its performance barely drops in freezing environments. Compared to traditional lithium batteries, Tesla's sodium ion batteries exhibit superior resistance to overheating, significantly reducing the risk of fire or explosion. Studies show that sodium's stable chemical structure makes the battery less prone to ignition and harder to explode in the event of a short circuit, increasing safety during technical malfunctions. In addition, sodium is a non-toxic material, which minimizes health risks if the battery breaks or becomes damaged. As a result, concerns about EV fires and thick smoke from lithium batteries are eased considerably. Another major advantage of sodium ion batteries, and something we value highly, is their ability to maintain stable performance in cold environments. Many battery samples have demonstrated the ability to charge from 5% to 80% in just 15 minutes, even at minus 10 degrees Celsius. This makes sodium ion batteries an ideal choice for regions with harsh winters, where severe performance drops in cold weather remain a major barrier that causes many users to hesitate before switching to electric vehicles. Okay, Elon Musk rarely talks in detail about battery prices, because even though the 4680 cells have been on the market for several years, their cost is still somewhat of a mystery. While Tesla hasn't disclosed the exact cost of each new battery cell, based on the average market price, if sodium ion batteries are produced at scale, they could be 30% to 60% cheaper than LFP batteries, thanks largely to the abundant supply of sodium and the lower extraction and refining costs. As we mentioned earlier, sodium ion batteries can also use aluminum as the positive current collector instead of copper, which is used in lithium ion batteries, further reducing costs and supply chain risks. Replacing all the lithium and lithium ion batteries with sodium can cut costs by as much as 30%. And what does that mean? A 30% reduction is a massive advantage. In many cases, just a few percentage points in price difference can determine the survival of an entire industry. If Tesla's sodium ion battery 4.0 costs around $80 per kilowatt hour compared to $120 per kilowatt hour for LFP batteries, that would truly be a game changer. Have you ever wondered why the industry even needs to turn to sodium ion batteries when lithium ion batteries have long been considered the gold standard? The answer is actually quite simple. Lithium ion batteries can't fully solve the current challenges of electric vehicles, especially as automakers race to produce more affordable EV models. One of the key driving forces behind the rise of sodium ion technology is that sodium is far more abundant and much cheaper to mine than lithium. This is becoming increasingly urgent as global lithium demand continues to rise and is projected to face severe shortages by 2026. 
directly impacting lithium-ion battery production. Although lithium naturally exists in various types of rock and even in brine, its reserves in the Earth's crust are far from limitless. Lithium extraction also consumes significant energy and resources. As demand for this valuable material keeps increasing while natural supply remains limited, lithium prices have surged dramatically, earning it the nickname white gold of the battery and electric vehicle era. For the electric vehicle industry in particular, sodium ion batteries offer a substantial advantage, especially for Tesla and its ambition to introduce a $26,000 EV, a goal Elon Musk has long pushed for. Thanks to their low cost and independence from increasingly scarce lithium, adding a new battery chemistry like sodium ion to the ecosystem brings long-term benefits. This becomes even more important when forecasts suggest lithium demand could increase by as much as 500 times in the future, making battery technology diversification not just a choice, but a survival strategy. As a key partner of Tesla, Cattle is expected to soon introduce its second-generation sodium ion battery. Cattle has announced a target of reaching 200 watt-hours per kilogram for the next-generation version currently in development, compared to the current generation's 175 watt-hours per kilogram. Furthermore, as we discussed earlier regarding sodium ion technology, a former Tesla engineer has founded his own company dedicated to developing this type of battery. He is confident that his sodium ion batteries will deliver a driving range of up to 300 miles, one of the most ambitious claims we've heard so far about sodium ion batteries. So can Naxtra sodium batteries replace lithium batteries? In our opinion, the answer is no. Sodium batteries will not replace lithium batteries in the short term. Within the industry, it is widely believed that sodium ion and lithium ion batteries are complementary, not replacements for each other. Due to the lower energy density of sodium ion batteries, they are more suitable for use in medium to low speed electric vehicles and in large scale energy storage systems. As industry investment increases, the technology matures and the supply chain improves, cost effective sodium ion batteries are expected to become an important supplement to lithium ion batteries, particularly in the field of stationary energy storage. They have a strong potential for development. Battery demand generally revolves around higher capacity, faster charging speeds, improved safety, and lower cost. From this perspective, aside from not yet being able to meet high capacity needs, sodium ion batteries have advantages in all other aspects. At this stage, sodium ion battery products will primarily be used in applications requiring less than 150 watt hours per kilogram, which could help alleviate the limited development of energy storage systems due to lithium resource shortages. There are no obvious bottlenecks for large-scale mass production of sodium ion batteries, and they will rapidly gain market share with their unique characteristics in specific markets. Sodium ion batteries are positioned as the most cost-effective and highly safe energy storage batteries. Once mass production is achieved, their performance is expected to reach that of lithium-ion batteries, but at the price of lead-acid batteries. The development of sodium-ion batteries is a process of self-innovation. Eventually, sodium-ion batteries will directly compete with lithium batteries for market share. Although Cattle has outlined a clear timeline, the industrialization of sodium-ion batteries still needs to overcome challenges related to technical performance, supply chain development, large-scale manufacturing, and cost reduction. The inherent limitation of low energy density in sodium-ion batteries is widely acknowledged, and efforts to optimize this have never stopped. Increasing the energy density from 160 watt-hours per kilogram to 200 watt-hours per kilogram has become the key R&D goal for cattle's second-generation sodium-ion batteries. Naturally, improving energy density presents a time- and effort-intensive challenge. Beyond energy density, current sodium-ion batteries can reach a cycle life of up to 5,000 cycles, though this is still significantly lower than that of commercial lithium-iron phosphate batteries, which can last 8,000 to 10,000 cycles. To become the backbone of energy storage applications, Sodium ion batteries still need to go through further technical validation and improvement. In addition to Naxtra, Cattle has also introduced the second generation of its Shenxing battery, which is expected to be installed in 67 vehicles this year from Chinese brands like Zeker, Neo, and Avatar. This fast charging battery can support a range of 800 kilometers and deliver 520 kilometers of range with just five minutes of charging, outperforming rival BYD from China. Its charging speed is truly impressive, 
Cattle shared examples of vehicles charging at around 1,000 kilowatts, maintaining over 500 kilowatts even when the battery is more than 50% charged. Cattle is also betting on the growth of battery swap systems, such as with its partner NEO, to help roll out its new battery technologies more widely. In summary, Naxtra sodium ion batteries are emerging as a promising alternative to lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles and energy storage applications. Over 18.32 million vehicles equipped with Catal batteries are currently in operation across more than 66 countries, demonstrating the reliability and effectiveness of the technology. Thanks to their high safety and the abundant availability of sodium, sodium ion batteries reduce dependence on lithium resources, which is a key factor in solidifying the foundation of next generation energy technologies. This shift not only brings sustainability benefits, but also drives the transition from resource dependence to energy independence, a major leap toward achieving clean and efficient energy goals. Technical issues like slower charging compared to refueling have already seen significant improvements, making EV charging more convenient. However, infrastructure development and technology costs still remain critical factors in making sodium ion technology widely accessible to consumers. Forecasts suggest sodium ion batteries could become mainstream within two to three years, even though lithium ion remains the dominant choice for EVs at present. The Tesla Model 2, the $26,000 electric car Elon Musk has mentioned, remains one of Tesla's biggest mysteries. Although it's expected to be an affordable mass market model, one of the most critical factors in achieving that price point is battery cost. While Tesla has already adopted LFP batteries for the more budget-friendly versions of the Model 3 and Model Y, there's still a significant gap to bridge before reaching the $26,000 target Musk set for the Model 2. In other words, LFP batteries are still not cheap enough to make the Model 2 viable at that price. As Tesla works to make EVs more accessible and reduce production costs, sodium-ion batteries are emerging as a compelling option thanks to three core advantages. Low cost good charging speeds, and high safety. Although it's unrealistic to expect them to outperform lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion technology could still help budget-conscious customers experience owning a Tesla EV. And if the energy density challenge is solved in the near future, mass production of sodium-ion batteries at the Nevada factory may only be a matter of time. When weighing the pros and cons of sodium-ion and lithium-ion batteries, it's clear that each technology has its own strengths. Choosing the right battery depends on the specific application, cost considerations, and environmental impact. In this race, sodium ion batteries stand out as a promising alternative due to their affordability, environmental friendliness, and high safety. However, lithium ion batteries continue to dominate thanks to their superior energy density, well-established technology ecosystem, and continuous pace of innovation. In summary, the competition between these two battery technologies reflects the energy sector's dynamic shift toward more sustainable and efficient storage solutions. As technology continues to evolve, the coexistence of sodium ion and lithium ion batteries will provide more flexible approaches to meet the world's increasingly diverse energy needs. Okay, so if Tesla released a $26,000 EV with sodium ion battery, would you be interested? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights on electric cars and battery technology. Drop your answers to the questions in the comments. We love hearing your thoughts. And hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next video. See you next time.